Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Rockzilla from the squad, and welcome. Today, we are reacting, I guess that's the right word to say. So, this is completely new to me. You know, I've never seen this. This is every live-action Star Wars movie ranked by rewatchability. So, we're going back over his list. And, you know, we might not even have to reorganize anything. This is his list. It might differentiate from my list. So, we'll see how it goes. But before we get started, I gotta say this. Because, you know, a lot of people may or may not you know have that person or whatever in their lives or whatnot but if you're having a hard time with something and you know you just feel like you want to give up don't man so what you're working hard for one day it may not be today it may not be tomorrow it may be year two three four years from now but one day you'll get to the end of that road to what you're reaching for man and you'll be so glad you did it um only reason i kind of say that is um you know i got a couple of youtube buddies man monetize youtube bodies and dude they just completely stop i know life kicks in trust me i know life kicks in the thing about them is i see them playing the game like constantly 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 and these channels are like gaming channels and bro if you got time to you know play the game you know press the record button and just let your energy just organically naturally just flow out man and you never know you might you never know who's watching, man. So just make the money. If, it, if it's there, get it. By the way, press that like button. And uh, like I said, man, if you ever need, if you're feeling down and you don't got nobody to talk to, man, just reach out to me. Sorry for that. I know what we're here for and we're going to get to it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to give a reaction. You know, it could just be, it might just be a face. It might be, I don't know, uh, in a chair or whatever. Every live action Star Wars movie ranked by rewatchability. Okay, so I'll read this, you know, if you don't want to, should I fast forward or should I just, okay, oh, okay, enough. Ever since it first began way back in 1977, Star Wars has been one of the biggest and most beloved brands in cinema. George Lucas' awe-inspiring universe has continuously evolved across decades to include television, television series, animated features, video games, comic books, and of course, 11 action feature films, which we are going to rank. With a saga sprawling across six different decades of filmmaking, ranging from the classic original trilogy to spin-offs from the Skywalker saga, the Star Wars movie have always inspired passion among the fan base, which it has. However, not every feature from the franchise has become a treasure gem, and there are some Star Wars films people can't wait to watch again, and some that left audiences thinking <laughs> once was more than enough. <laughs> hey that's facts right there oh yeah and i gotta give this man credit so this is by ryan heffernan sorry if i butchered your name but that's what it sound like bro i agree with this i give this one yes yes so this is the reaction yes this is it star wars the rise of Skywalker. Skywalker. skywalker ah! number 11 star wars the rise of sky <laughs> Number 11, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. This is where this belongs. Nothing against female protagonists. You know, if I'm playing a fighting game, nine times out of 10, I'll pick a female character. Um, but this right here, bro, Ray had no reason, no reason of beating Sidious. No freaking reason. That alone right there put this at, dude, I almost wish they would have left their emperor dead. Why did y'all bring this man back? Why? But yeah, enough of that. Number 11, good. It's where it is. The worst movie. I'll, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Okay, let's see. Number 10. Bro, he put number... The Phantom Menace at number 10? Oh. Bro, I gotta disagree with that one, bro. Ryan. Ryan. Bro. Hey, Ryan, come here. Hey, Ryan, come here real quick. Let me holler at you. Oh, how? I was thinking another Disney film was going to be at number 10. This man put The Phantom Menace. Okay, I've heard of a lot of backlash. Um, you know, the movie might have been a little slow paced or whatnot. But I tell you what, in my honest opinion, I wouldn't put that at number 10. I'll probably, from all the Star Wars films, I would probably rank this one at about maybe four or five. And here's my reason. Because the Phantom Menace really revamped Star Wars. It really brought Star Wars back to life. We haven't seen Star Wars since, what, the 80s maybe? It really revamped, you know, Star Wars. Brought it back to life. Of course, Darth Maul is my favorite Star Wars character. And I'm not saying it because I'm the biggest Darth Maul fan. But everything, including the Clone Wars, um, you know, even the fight where... With Obi-Wan and Rebels, it was quick, but it was beautiful. Um, I think Darth Maul probably has the best 
fights in all of Star Wars. The choreography between Darth Maul and Obi-Wan is beautiful. I mean, some can argue that Anakin and Obi-Wan, that was beautiful too. No, no lie, that was amazing. To me, I think this one is better. Like, dude, no, when the gate opened and Darth Maul appeared, took the hood off and was ready to fight everybody, man, I would have stood up. I, I didn't go... Did I? Yeah, I think I did go. I think my mom did take me to go and see this movie in theaters. And I can't remember my reaction back then, but I know now, as an adult, I would still stand up and probably scream in the movie theater because that was dope. Yeah, just hold off on that. But number 10, freak, no. No way. No way. A solo story. Number 9. I'm going to have to agree with that because I'll be honest with you guys. And please don't force choke me. Don't force choke me or shoot no force lightning through the screen. But I have never seen this film. That's going to be on the to-do list. But I have never seen that film. So I can't make a judgment call. I'm just going to leave it where Ryan got it. Leave it at number nine. I have no idea. No, 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 no. No. We'll take that. I'm going to put the, uh, the the Ray films, you know, 11, 10, 9. So we're going to drop that down to eight. So yeah, a Solo, a Star Wars story. I've never seen it. So I can't make a judgment call on it. Number eight. Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. I can, I can see that being up there. Um, yo, and check this out. I still got this one on VHS. Well, this is the only one I got. I gotta wipe the dust off of it. Yeah, that's it. Attack of the Clones. Oops. Pretty much more of a, a love story. It had its good moments, in my opinion. Didn't anything really happen until the the end of the movie, where, you know, our heroes got defeated by Dooku and. Bro, he took off, so the villain actually won this in, in this movie. Well, I can say that about all of them, almost. But the villain actually won this one. And I don't have any issues with that. But number seven, since we put in the, uh, the Ray films, you know, 11, 10, 9. So this would be number seven. My man Ryan put, uh, what was it? He put the solo film at number, so it should be number eight. 11, 10, 9. Yeah, I'll go back over those, you know, once we get there. Mm -hmm. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And here's another one. Don't saber toss me. This is another one that I didn't completely finish watching. I did watch some of it. Of course, I seen the part where Vader got his hallway scene. Of course, we, we all know. Hey, that's, that's a given, bro. So, like I said, I can't really make a judgment call, but I can because I seen a lot of it. And I seen the big hallway scene, and I believe that's probably why it got ranked pretty much where it is. Anything Vader in, they, you know, everybody's just gonna love it. Not, I can't argue with that. So we're gonna put that at number six. Uh, Road one, a Star Wars story. Wow. This man says, number six, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. <laughs> at number six. Bro, that's almost a passing grade, bro. <laughs> oh, man. The Last Jedi, number six. I got to disagree with that, bro. Yes, that this is number 10. This is actually, this should be number 10. And some pretty decent little moments like this current one that's on the picture right now. It has some decent moments in it. But yeah, that's that's number 10, bro. In my opinion, the, the best thing out of the uh, the Disney Star Wars movies was Kylo Ren. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, you got a big crybaby. But his design was, bro, it was tough. Like, you got the, the grandson of Darth Vader, but they kind of blew it because, bro, he was getting molly walked by Rey. Like, dude, she just learned how to use a, a lightsaber. Even then went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him for a little while. And, bro... <laughs> I don't know about that one, bro. So, that one is definitely number 10. Number 10, bro. Gotta be. Number 5. He put Revenge of the Sith at number... I'll be honest with you. If it was me personally, I would probably put Revenge of the Sith at number 2 or number 3. I love Revenge of the Sith. The fight scene, the build-up. Now, I gotta say, out of all the prequels... That's definitely the best one. That's definitely the best one. We got to see our hero turn into Darth Vader like step by step. The big clash with Obi-Wan. We got the big clash with Mace and Sidious and Yoda and Sidious. Uh, Anakin, 
beat Dooku, like, first thing in the movie. We got a lot of fights in that movie. Grievous versus uh, Obi-Wan. So we definitely got a lot going on with Revenge of the Sith and Battle of Heroes. Probably one of the best. And I can, my bad, The Phantom Menace has um, Duel of Fates, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Battle of Heroes, bro. <laughs> That's... Like, bro, I, I'll be honest with you, man. Sometimes I'm sitting in my car, get ready to go to work. Do, 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 do. You will try. So, yes, um, that would definitely have to be number two or number three for me. I love it. I can watch it right now. Um, So, let's get on with it. Return of the Jedi. I dig it. I dig it. I, I like the placing on this one. That's That's good. So with Return of the Jedi, I like the placing on it. I'll I'll keep that where it is. Um, this is where you know we get Luke the big battle, the big second battle uh, against Darth Vader. Yeah, he gets he wins Vader over Vader. You know lifts Vader lifts the Emperor, throw him into the thing, and he getting barbecued and all that other good stuff. And yeah, see, I haven't seen these films in so long, <laughs> bro. I wasn't born in '83, like I wasn't ready yet like i was still in my dead nutsack <laughs> so but I, I i did watch it i do remember it um and i could watch this one again and i probably need to just, just kind of refresh my memory but i will keep this right here and like i said we'll go back and re-rank all of these mark hamill was definitely a blessing and we'll just go on to the next one and see what we got um yeah thumbs up man i like that i like that number three Bro, you gotta be kidding me. This man has Star Wars The Force Awakens. And number three. <laughs> number three, Star Wars The Force Awakens. The only thing I got to say about that is number two, Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Listen, this right here is really, really debatable because I can put this at number one. Um, like I said, I wasn't born, so I don't know, but I have heard and read that in the movies when, so if you were lucky enough to watch this movie back then in the 80s, you know, you got that big twist where, you know, Vader was fighting Luke and then he turned around and told that man, hey, you killed my father. Luke, I am your father. No, Luke, I am the father. No. No. Bro, I know the movie theaters went stupid, man, so... That's very debatable. Just that part alone is just like the biggest twist. And that probably, if the internet was a huge thing back then, that would have definitely broke the internet. That would have destroyed, like the internet probably would have shut down. Like I'm almost real tempted to put that at number one. The Empire Strikes Back. Of course, Darth Vader learned about the high ground. <laughs> so yeah, we, we already know what number one is. So A New Hope, 1977, the first introduction to Star Wars. We got our famous crew of Luke, Leia, and Han Solo. This is where it all began, man. This is really where the fun begins right here. This is everything. So him giving this number one, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, man. I kind of, I think I want to put uh, the Empire Strikes Back over A New Hope. So here it goes. Um, Empire Strikes Back, A New Hope, The Return of the Jedi. It's one, two, three. What did I say would be number four? Um, Through this list. I would give, yes, The Revenge of the Sith, number four. Number five, I want to give that to The Phantom Menace, then Attack of the Clones. Yeah, so Attack of the Clones should be number six. Okay, number seven, we'll go with Rogue One. I'm going to leave this number seven. I can't really can't make a judgment call on it because I didn't see the whole film, and I got to go back and watch that one along with the uh, solo film. Um... But I do know of the hallway scene and a couple other parts in the movie. So we'll leave that where it is. Um, solo Star Wars story. That's number eight. Yeah, we, that's number five, baby. All day long. So basically, we just got to place the, the three Ray films. And I said, uh, yeah, definitely. This definitely the last place. Definitely last place. It, Ray had no place in beating. No, no place. No place. No place at all. This is number nine. Uh, the Last Jedi, number 10, The Force Awakens, of course, number 11, 
<laughs> the Rise of Skywalker. Get that out of here. Number 11 is Rise of the Skywalker. Skywalker. The Rise of Skywalker. And I still said it wrong. The Rise of Skywalker. Dude, that's not a tongue twister. The Rise of Skywalker. Definitely number 11. So, this list, and I'm going to give this man all the credit. Ryan Hif Hifford. Ryan Hiffernan. This is his list. Every live Star Wars movie ranked by rewatchability. I'm your boy, Rockzilla from the squad. Thank you guys for joining me here. And press that like button if you don't mind. I'm your boy, Rockzilla from the squad. I'm out of here, baby.